Alright, what's up YouTube? So, because this image boots into a track mode, you do the first thing you're going to want to do is just plug in a keyboard. This is the 8-bit flashback, a track mode image. It works for Pi 0 and Pi 3. It'll work for Pi 1 and 2 as well, no problem. It's 32 gigabytes. It's actually 228.8, so it'll fit on almost every, um, almost every 32 gigabyte SD card out there. Okay, well my Logitech F710 actually is working. Okay, it's select on your controller. And then uh, we could just go into controls here. And uh, this is where you're gonna go ahead and update any of your track mode uh, controls. But I think it's actually working okay. I have select, I have escape, and how to go back. Okay, I think I'm actually good. I think I can navigate without um, doing anything. So to get into Emulation Station, go ahead and say exit, say yes, and then if you're going to need a keyboard for this, just type the word Emulation Station and hit enter. All right, here we are in Emulation Station, and our keyboard is working, so let's go ahead and... So I hit enter on my keyboard, one, two, three, four, down, click A on your keyboard, click A on your keyboard again on yes. I'm... And then hold down, and let's get this all set up. Go back. All right. Cool. So what do we got here? We got Atari 2600. We got 648 games. We got Atari Lynx. We've got 76 games. We've got Family Computer Disk System, 71 games. We've got Game Boy, 565 games. Game Boy Advanced, 104. Game Boy Color, 535. Master System, 281. Sega Mega Drive. 782, Neo Geo, 142, Nintendo, 792, is that 792? Yeah, 792, PC Engine, 94, you got your Retro Pie menu, Sega Genesis 32X, 33 games, Sega CD, two games, wow, only two, huh? Ro Road Avenger and Sonic CD, Super Nintendo, 786, and Arcade. 2,913. Wow, that's quite a collection. All right, and this is running the... Um, no, I don't want to do that one to go here. We are on the Metapixel. Ah, oh, it has a Tronky Fran. Let's, try, let's, let's do some Tronky Fran. Nice. Tronky Van looks cool. Okay, cool. Tronky Fan. Uh, I believe this has... Um, I believe this has um, window. It has a uh, snaps as well. So we got Zoid on there as well, and it is uh, Genesis, not Mega Drive, which is cool. Fundamental, very fundamental. That was pretty cool. What you would want to do then is just um, hit start, go quit, go ahead and quit emulation station really quick. Yes, should bring you here and just type attract, enter, and it should put you in attract mode. There we go. So now I'm back into track mode. My controls are all set up now. We're doing good. Uh, as you saw, only two games on Sega CD. Sonic CD and Road Avenger. Road Avenger has no snap. We can go over to the next system. So there's a mix, not a lot of snaps on here. I mean, it is only a 32 gigabyte image, so I'm, I wouldn't imagine there's all the snaps. Okay, so Game Boy, no snaps. See, these are little details that not many people notice, but so it looks like they're using the same artwork. So on the Game Boy 
uh, console in the middle, it looks the box art looks great. But what they did was they just kind of stretched the box art on these little arcade on the on the actual cartridges on the right on the wheel, and uh, it doesn't look that great. Where here they use the logos, which it looks a little better. Game Boy Advanced, no snaps, but logos. This looks way better. That the Game Boy one is not looking very good. So like Atari, for example, there are some snap. There are snaps for Atari 2600. It's kind of weird that some systems have snaps and then some don't. Family computer disk system. Again, they're kind of stretching out the box art. Qbert. Everyone likes Qbert. So Nintendo has snaps. Nintendo and Atari. And then Super Nintendo has snaps. The Super Nintendo looks very pretty. Good work on the Super Nintendo. I think I had a Triniton t TV on my Super Nintendo too. <laughs> okay, TurboGrafx-16 as well. Okay, and then here's the setup menu. Let me go past that. Now the arcade, 2,000 arcade games. So you'll be going in here quite a bit. A lot to um, get through on there. We're only at B. We're still in B. It's close to 3,000 of these. Let's just try a game really quick. Battletoads for the arcade. Got him. Look at those bones. Got him. All right, start selecting, <laughs> gets you out of there. Uh, arcade classics, what else we got? So Neo Geo. Looks like it's all just artwork, no video snaps. Got our metal slugs on there. Nice. Sega Master System. Looks good in here. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis, NES, Super Nintendo, all those rooms look great. Sega CD room looks kind of funky. A, because this artwork sucks. And then B, because there's only two games, so it repeats. Um, this one doesn't look half bad. Like Sega 32X looks good because the, the 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 little cartridges, the artwork isn't stretched so much. But I think as we get into Game Boy, like the artwork is way stretched out there. Doesn't look good at all. So Game Boy, I'm not a fan. Game Boy Color looks fine. And then you got some uh, Game Boy Advanced. I think it was like a hundred. Got your Zeldas, your Mario Kart, Mario, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, your Mega Mans, your Pokemons, your Sonics. Uh, let's just give Sonic a, a whirl. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, we almost, we almost got up there. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Man, he's running. Peace. Time bonus. Got through Act 1. Yeah. Something you might want to consider if you're going to be running this in a track mode only is go hitting select, go to general, go to exit command, type sudo space shutdown space dash h space now. 
go ahead and enter and exit out of this. And now anytime you hit the exit button on your track mode menu, it'll go ahead and shut down your Pi. You can just unplug it. And then when you want to plug it back in, you can plug it. That way you can use this setup without a keyboard. All right, so there you have it. We have the attract mode. The cool thing about this image is that it does work for Pi Zero. So here's an attract mode image at the 32 gigabyte uh, space. So, you know, it just shows you what you could possibly do with 32 gigabytes and with a track mode. As you saw, the emulation station had a few themes installed and it was it was really good as well. Um, if the theme supports snaps, the snaps should work, the ones that were installed in here. So the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the uh, Sega Genesis, and so on. Uh, overall, I'd give it like a B. I was really um, disappointed with like that it doesn't have the attract mode set up in the menu and you'd have to set all that stuff up yourself and get it all running right uh, in order to not use a keyboard. Um, you could, as you saw earlier in the video, just set it to shut down and keep it in attract mode the whole time, which a lot of people would probably do. So that's a really easy alternative to get that all working right. Or just keep it in uh, emulation station as well. And just uh, once you boot up and shut down an emulation station, you never need a keyboard either. But if you want to jump between track mode and emulation station the way it's set up now, you will need a keyboard. But uh, so that's why the B, as far as the collections and, and how I like it all, the artwork and all that stuff, it's another B. I mean, it's good. It's not amazing. I've seen better. But uh, solid stuff. Love seeing new things, new things going on and new images being put out. So like I said, a B is a solid. That's a solid grade. I'm just saying with my criticisms, it's not an A work. Uh, let me know if you like this video. Throw a little thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.